Hello everyone, good evening, and welcome to the evening talk, Sunday talk. Today we have Harika Nimala is her full name, and she's originally from Hyderabad, India. So welcome sister Harika. And um, Harika has been practicing Raj Yoga since the age of 13. And she is now full-time volunteer in the Brahma Kumaris for the past 15 years. And she's been living in London for the last 10 years now. She's uh, based at the Brahma Kumaris National Coordinating Office in London, where she's helping with the administration and coordinating activities, events in her own. She has found spirituality to be a joy as well as an invaluable tool in life, enabling her to explore her inner strength and skills and to share with the others what she's discovering and learning. And I just found out also that Harika has have discovered this her new hobby or new skill of drawing that she's exploring which is very nice to hear because I myself am very fond of uh, expressing myself visually. And going to the topic today, uh, the topic is lighten up and let go. So the moment when I was thinking about this topic, actually um, there was a lot of things uh, that was coming in my head. For example, since you know we are born, you know, we have to have education, then we are in the relationships and the families, then we need to find the right career and <clears throat> so many different kinds of uh, pathways. And it seems just like there is so many kind of obstacles coming in our life, right? Like um, um, difficulties and challenges. But uh, now I would I think uh, after when Harika will talk about this topic, we will know more about how we can overcome these obstacles and these challenges. So we are not all, all the time fighting and resisting, but rather we are going with the flow and with the peace and joy. So maybe without further ado, and later we will have chance to ask her any questions, you can please put it in the chat um, and we will go through that after the session. So welcome Harika sister. And now I hand it over to you. Whenever you are ready, you can um, share with us your views and your ideas. Thank you for the sweet introduction, Deepthi. Before we go into the topic, I just thought, let's have a moment of reflection on this topic, letting go. Just take a moment, sit back, relax, and just think about what do I need to let go? And why do I need to let go? Just think about what is stopping me to let go? Probably we might have got an answer. Now let's come back to reflect on this topic, lighten up 
and letting go. I don't want to let go of anything if I don't know why do I want to let go. Isn't it? And many a times, I was just reflecting on, there are two aspects of letting go. Okay. One is something that I'm going through that I really want to let go of it. Okay. And wherein I'm very uncomfortable to let go of it. Okay. Probably I don't want to let go of it. <clears throat> and one is my comfort zone or something that I know this is not good for me, even as an acquired habit, a habit of eating, drinking, or something that I, I don't want to have it in my daily routine, but I still carrying. So that also I want to let go. But how much am I really making that effort to let go? If I don't let go, Okay, if I'm holding something, even a serious incident that happened to me in terms of a relationship or in terms of a situation or in terms of the obstacle that came through me, if I'm not letting go of it, if I'm holding on to it, just think about what is happening to me. Okay, and why is that happening to me? Am I happy? Am I, do, am I doing what I need to do? Okay. Or am I thinking in the way that I want to think? Let's start from there. Okay. One image that came to me is, I, I want to share that image with you. Okay. The elephant. Okay. And the elephant is very powerful. The elephant has so much strength in it. But the elephant has so much power, even it can pick up the minute things from the ground with its nose. Okay. It has such a powerful eyes, even the needle can be picked up. And it has so much power, it can remove the branches and trunks. But the same elephant, okay, if it is chained, okay, the elephant feels it is helpless. Do you think the elephant can't let go of these chains? What do you say? Is it possible for the elephant? For the elephant, which is so powerful, it can pick up the branches from its trunks, the trees, okay, it can lift off all the trees from the ground. Can't this elephant let go of this simple chain? What do you think? Hmm. Immediately, this, this image came to me when I was thinking about letting go. The only thing elephant right from the childhood, okay? As a child, the elephant doesn't know how to let go of this chain. But even I remember when I saw the elephant once a long time ago when I was a child, okay, as a teenager in a zoo, the elephant is just chained with this little chain. The legs are chained. And I was thinking, oh, the elephant can't let go of this. Okay, the elephant just stood there thinking that it cannot do anything. He or she cannot do anything with it. That is the mindset. The elephant is being created right from the baby elephant stage. So the elephant thought, I cannot let go of this. So what is that image telling me? What is the lesson that I am learning from this elephant? 
we all have the power to let go. But, but I am either in my comfort zone, thinking that I don't know what's going to happen if I let go of this. There might be a fear when I'm comfortable, okay? Or there might be a lack of determination that, or laziness, okay? That I think, well, I can't do anything. I am helpless. I can't let go of it. Okay. This, the first thought that I create of not able to let go. Okay. So for letting go, okay, I am, I need to lighten up my mind. Okay, I like the topic, lighten up and let go. Unless I have that enlightenment, unless I have that moment of realization, I am not taking a step to move forward to let go. And sometimes we have a lot of expectations okay, uh, through the situations or through people or through whatever I want to do. Okay. And when I have a lot of expectation, I don't want to let go. Okay. Go with the flow, with the current time where we are. Everyone is going through the same thing in the world. It's not just one person. It's the whole world family in the same page, in the same situation. Okay. But there are two ways of dealing with this situation. One, people who had let go, people have, who have learned to let go are feeling a feeling of appreciation, a feeling of gratitude, a feeling of acceptance, a feeling of contentment. Okay. I was listening to somebody the other day and they said, I'm very grateful to COVID. Okay. And some Yes, I know with the situations, everybody have a different situation. Some are going through the family, some are going through their jobs, some are going through their own, uh, own illness. Okay, we find it very hard. We find it very difficult to let go. But what I have learned for my own self is the moment I accept the scene with love, with gratitude, then it is very easy for me to let go. When I have any expectation towards this, okay, and with that expectation, I'm feeling discontentment. With that expectation, I feel dissatisfied. With that expectation, I want to hold on to it until I get it, okay. See, if you hold the water in your hand, okay, and the water can stay a little bit longer in your hand, okay? And if you hold on to the water like this, the water will not stay. Instantly they are gone. Okay, the water just spills out, right? And anything if I'm trying to hold on to is not making me happy. So like a bird, the bird, it's a story we always share. It's like the bird is holding on to the branch and the bird is asking the saint, can you please relieve me from this branch? And do you know what the saint says? Okay, just let go of the branch so you will be free. Some situations in our life, um, you don't want to leave, but you want to leave. <laughs> I'm sure many of you have gone through that phase like, I don't want to leave, but I want to leave. <laughs> Isn't it? So how do we get on with this? Okay. One is practicing spirituality is all about seeing things as a detached observer. Okay, 
if I learn the art of being an observer, I am not holding on to anything. I am in fact able to observe, stare, observe in a right way. Not, I'm, I'm not absorbing anything. Okay, I am actually not taking in anything. I am just observing. As you watch a movie, as you watch a scene, okay, you're just passing by and you just let it go and you go with the flow. Okay, like the water, if you change the direction, okay, when the sea goes in a certain direction, okay, it's easy to flow with it. If I'm trying to swim on the other direction, okay, I have a difficulty. I might not be able to swim. I might need to make a lot of effort to swim in the other direction. So the art of letting go is about just go with the flow. And the second thing is being a detached observer. And the third thing is, okay, pack up. Okay, the baggage that I'm holding on, okay, the things that I'm holding on, how much, how long can I hold on to it? Okay. If I hold on something for longer, okay, it causes, uh, it becomes too heavy. Okay. Even that one little glass, if I hold on for too long, I find it heavy. I find it, oh, my hand starts paining. I find it too hard. I'm just holding it. I'm not doing anything with it. But still, but still, even just holding that glass becomes heavy after 10 minutes. You find it difficult okay, in your movement as well. So any little thing that is causing me sorrow, pain, or discomfort, that itself is a sign for me to check. What's happening inside me? Why am I feeling like this? What am I holding on to? Okay, is it, uh, is it jealousy? Is it greed? Is it too much expectation? What is it? Okay. Yes, sometimes I need to hold on to certain things to move forward as well. Okay, but I have a choice. What is it that I need to hold on to? What is it that I need to let go? Okay. At this moment, I remember Dadi Janki. I'm sure some of you might be aware who Dadi Janki is, the chief administrative head of the Brahma Kumaris until 2020, 2020, and who passed away in March in 2020. At the until the she is being a spiritual leader and a very good example. And all she used to remember is the sweet memories of her past stories. Okay. And if you ask her, okay, Dadi yesterday, Dadi means a senior sister, like a grandmother. Okay, so when we used to interact with Dadi, the question is being asked, okay, sometimes when you ask stories about from her childhood, from the early memories of her spiritual life. Oh, she has amazing memory and she can go on for hours and hours talking about the stories. But when it comes to situations or when you say, Daddy, yesterday I was talking about this person, I'm complaining about this person. And she says, yesterday this situation happened. She says, I don't remember. Okay. She is an example of to hold on to what is needed and to let go of what is not needed. So the more everything, see, letting go is nothing but what am I holding on in my head and in my heart, in my memory track. Okay, Something that is nice, something that is sweet memories that I can cherish on, let me just recap that again and again and again. Okay. Maybe a moment of 
playfulness or something that really made me nice and comfortable and happy. Okay, let me just recap that any number of times. Okay. So that energizes me. If I recap or rewind those memories or those situations which has caused me some tragedy or upset or just think about it. What is my energy level at that time? Okay. If I'm holding on to these difficult situations and memories, how is my energy level? And how am I feeling about it? Am I feeling good thinking about those things? If not, now is that moment to let go. Sometimes we might find it very difficult because of the trauma or the situations that we have gone through in life. Okay, how can you forget? How can you let go? When I forgive, then I can forget. If I can't forgive, then I can't forget. Okay, so letting go is really an art to learn to live in the moment, okay? When I learn to live in this moment, many of the times I am either living in the future or either I'm living in the past. So what's happening now? Okay. So enjoy this moment. Have gratitude for this moment that I am surviving i'm able to sit i'm able to be comfortable okay, whatever even the simplest things that i'm getting at this moment of time okay it's really a bonus for the life where we are today of course some people are very comfortable but still they are not content inside why why are we not happy why are we not content because either I'm living in the past or in the future. So let's live in this moment, be here in the present. Okay, that's the art of letting go. That's when it's very easy and natural for me to go with the flow. I was in India a few weeks, uh, for a few weeks. I just came back two days ago and I was meeting a doctor. Okay. And when I was with a doctor, the doctor uh, has so many patients outside. And this sister, one of the person went in without even having a permission. Okay, and there are other people who are just waiting there. But this doctor is so cool, so calm, looking at each other. And the person who went inside was on and on and on talking and talking. And this doctor is so coolly responding and uh, just answering her questions very patiently. And I was thinking, this, this doctor is so carefree, you know? He's not, he is just in the moment. Just in the moment, be in the present and appreciating the conversation between each other. Okay, that's exactly what I have seen with Dadi Janki as well. Okay. And she doesn't bother whoever is there or not there. When she is with somebody, that 100% attention that she gives, okay, or not thinking about what next, she's just being present with this person. Okay. That is the art of being in the present, will not make you worry. Okay. If I don't know the art of letting go, either I'm worrying, either I'm stressed, either I'm feeling, oh, I have to do this next. Okay, So I can't be in the present. Okay. So pack up all those that is not needed for me today. Okay, Why am I holding on to? What is this giving me? Is it giving me a pleasure? Okay. If something is not giving you pleasure, see, even if something doesn't taste good in my mouth, I don't want to eat it. Okay. I like to keep something that tastes good, that is good for my body, 
that's what I want to eat. So why am I holding on to those things that is not giving me any pleasure to me, either to me, that makes me heavy, that makes me feel sick or uneasy or discomfort or discontent. So the art of letting go okay, is, is just to be in this moment and appreciate, have gratitude. When I start having gratitude for this moment, okay, I am able to go with the flow. Okay. I was just sharing that, okay, when you go from one country to another country, probably you might have certain expectations. When I go there, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. But if things doesn't work according to what I want, am I able to let go, allow, trust the scene in the drama? It is going to be good for me. Okay. When I start accepting with love, I'm appreciating and I have a lot of gratitude for that moment. Okay, this is what I'm actually talking from my own experience that just happened when I was in India. Okay, which, okay, you went with certain expectation. It didn't work. It wasn't the same. But just be grateful. Just be grateful. You are getting exactly what you need. Okay. I am not getting something that is beyond my destiny. When I trust, when I have complete trust in myself, complete trust in the scenes that are coming to me, okay, and everything is good. Okay, the lesson of everything is going to be good and beneficial for me. Okay, this is what is helping me to be a detached observer. And when I start observing the scenes and observing the role that I'm playing, okay, I am not attached to anything. Okay, the moment I'm attached to, okay, like the elephant, elephant is just with one instance that can break the chains and go. Okay, but the elephant thought, I can't go. See, that's the mindset that has been developed even within all of us. Okay, which I'm thinking, well, I, ca I can only do this much. Okay, this is my capacity. That is my limitation again. That is only my way of thinking. But if I can let go of this idea of, okay, I'm not just thinking that I can only do this much. I can do more. I can do better. Okay, let go of the idea of my own limitations. Let go of the thought that it is not possible. Okay, I am possible. It is possible. Okay, uh, I have met one, uh, somebody who is not so greatly educated, <clears throat> but surrendered her life to, for spirituality. And the amazing capacity, what I have seen in her is, okay, and uh, although she has very limited skills in technology, very limited skills in certain things, but her way of looking at things is, I can do it. It is possible. Okay, whether either from doing from cooking to cleaning to IT, okay, zero IT skills. Today, she manages doing her, her accounts, her everything on the computer. I was like, wow, this is amazing from what she is. And always she used to think, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Until that thought of, I don't want, or I can't do this. Okay. And she was telling me that even I was trying to learn, but it, is, it was giving me headache. Then one fine day she decided, well, I just have to do it, it's fine. She has let go, she has to let go of the idea, I can't do it or I don't want to do it. That's when she started doing it. And then I asked her how, because although I might have more technology skills, but still I need to know what is the process that she has to do. Even to help her, I need to know what, what can I do for her. <laughs> okay. So I think <clears throat> it is mostly the idea 
behind my mind, the thoughts that I create, okay, allows me to let go. Okay. So if I want to fly, I just need to let go. Okay. If I want to go with the flow, okay, just move on. Keep moving forward. Okay. One of the powerful um, saying you say is, okay, if any, any kind of a weakness, although I have, I know that this is the weakness. Until I hold on to that thought, it is okay. I can come out of it. I cannot do it, you know. I cannot make it happen. Okay. It's all, all in me. It's all within my head, within my heart, within my feelings. Whether I want to let go, or not to let go. Okay, I think uh, I have spoken enough at the time that I was given. Okay, maybe if there's anything that you want to ask or share, please do. Thank you, Skinner Mala. Um, if anybody have any further questions, please feel free to type in the chat. But we can start with this one question, and I think it's from Gitte. She is asking, what do you mean by going with the flow? Okay, thank you for that question. Um, going with the flow, uh, I can talk from my own experience with the recent experience that I had. Okay, um, I went to headquarters Mount Abu, and with, with the thought that I have to be there, and I want to do this. And this is the time period I should be there. But as soon as I went, okay, uh, I was tested positive and I have to be in isolation, okay. And all I had in my mind is it's okay, okay. It is fine, everything is going to be good, okay. I might have a few thoughts at that moment Although I have reached on time with my own thought, with my own expectation that I'm there for this time. Okay, everything is fulfilled, but you, when you went there, things changed, okay? Which the moment I accepted with my heart, okay, I found it very easy to spend that time in isolation. Okay, I did not feel even, an, even a single slight thought of, why is this happening when I come here? Okay, I came with my pure intention, but why did this happen? No, I accepted the moment that things are not the same way that I was thinking. The moment I accepted, I found it very easy to go with it. Okay, so I would say that is like going with the flow. Okay, sometimes when I have an expectation, then when I start questioning, why did this happen to me? Is why is it, why things are not according to what I want? Why is this always happening only to me? Okay. So these questions is, can I answer that questions? If, if I have these questions, is this going to help me? Is this going to give me energy to move forward? and to go or do what I need to do. Okay, then when I change the flow, the direction of my thoughts in a positive direction, that's what I would say, go with the flow. Uh, just adding to this question, I was, uh, I wanted to ask you about, for example, if we are in, uh, in a situation, like you said, uh, you know, you had a test result as positive, so there was actually kind of not so much choice but to have an isolation. But how do we know sometimes, you know, we are in a situation where we, um, very unexpected things happen and then we have to take certain actions or decision. And sometimes I'm a little bit confused, like uh, do I just go with this or do I take action? So do you... Uh, when would we know when to take action and when to just let go? Because sometimes we also have to choose 
certain mm. things, no? Um, as being part of the Brahma Kumaris, one thing is uh, if you're attend, if those who are attending regularly probably have an idea of what we practice here. If you're attending for the first time this talk, I would say that one of the lesson, that first lesson that we learn is who am I? Okay. Beyond the roles that I'm playing, I'm much more powerful. I am the being, whether you call it as a spirit, the soul, or the energy. Okay. And when I am looking at the scene as a detached observer means I am playing the role in the consciousness as a being, not as a doing or a doer. Okay, most of the time, I am mostly a human doing. I am so much engrossed in doing. So my decisions are based on doing, doing, doing. Okay, when I come from the aspect of the being, okay, then I can see a bigger picture of do I need to let go or do I need to face it or do I need to take what kind of a decision I need to make? Because there is clarity. Okay, When I'm coming from the aspect of the being, there is clarity in my thoughts. When I am in the mode of a role player, okay, because I'm attached to the role, I am attached to what I am doing, okay, then I am more coming from the space as a doer or from the space of ego or expectation. That's when my decisions are going wrong. Okay, so to get it right, to get this uh, doing in the right direction, in the right way, let's start playing the role from the consciousness of I am a being. Because the role that I'm playing is just a role. Today it is there, tomorrow it is not there. So I start looking at a bigger picture than stuck with the role. Most of the time I'm making decisions as a role player. Okay, this is my role. I have to be responsible. I have to take care of this. So this is what causing me more pain. And this is causing chaos in the mind. Okay. And maybe that's the reason why we, are, we get so confused and we are not able to take decisions. Absolutely. Mm. Because most of my confusion is because there is too much traffic here. Okay. And I need to learn to let go of this traffic. But the traffic can calm down when I learn to know that I'm just a driver controlling this vehicle. Rather than trying to say, well, I am the traffic or I am, I am the car. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a mm, pull, first pull back from that situation yeah. and then go back to the basics and then observe as a detached yeah. observer. Absolutely right. Yes, yes. And I think uh, uh, for that, maybe initially um, it might take time to even to exercise that bit Okay, step one is just to be an observer. Step two is to be, be. I am the being, I am the soul, okay, the spirit, the energy. Okay. Thank you. Um, I have another question, if there is no other questions from anybody else. Speaking about this uh, present moment that you emphasized, um, but you know, sometimes when we try to be in the present moment and so suddenly some situation happens and then, uh, but you need to be present in whatever you are doing, then you get bothered. So if I just ignore what is going in my head and then I just continue what I'm doing at the moment, would it be like, uh, do I have to step aside and then deal with that emotions and feelings that are coming or do I just do my task what I'm required to do in that moment and then come back to it later I'm just talking about you know uh, many times when I personally just asking that when I have wanted to be in the present moment and sometimes I'm not successful because there are certain things that it just emerges I feel like it needs to be dealt with 
So I'm not able to be 100% in the present moment. So do you have any tips for this? Um, well, I used to live in the past quite a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, I realized that it's not helping me. Okay, being in the past or being in the future. Okay, let's learn. Meaning it's, it's an inner practice. It's like, it's like building your building up your muscle okay you exercise it you exercise it you you don't start with 100 cages per day you start with one two five like that okay when you're trying to exercise and build up the physical body the build up the muscle okay in the same way uh once uh, i was taught or i was practicing this exercise like every day okay when i am even doing the simple things okay even if I'm trying to talk with somebody, okay, don't, don't get distracted with seeing something passing by or some vehicle going by. Okay, just try and be, give that 100% attention. Okay, even while you're drinking water. Okay, can I give 100% attention while I'm just drinking, just only drinking water? Okay, even... Like that, the simple things when I start focusing on, okay, when you're cooking, okay, either I'm on phone, I'm talking to somebody and I'm doing something and I'm cooking, okay, you, especially um, most of the women are multi-talented or multitask persons, <laughs> okay, and they love doing it, including me, I can include that in myself, because I love while I'm talking on phone, I just don't waste time. I thought, I think that you can do this as well. <laughs> okay, certain things, it is fine. It's good to do that. But many a times, it's good to pay, give 100% attention. Okay, If you're talking with somebody, just try and be present. Try and do that one task at a time. Okay, and like that, while something comes up, and what is my priority? Do I need to deal with this emotion now? Or do I need to focus on the task that I need to do now? What is my priority now? Okay, if I need to deal with the emotion or if I can't deal with this now, okay, let's park it. And I started learning to talk to myself and say, okay, I'll come back to you. Okay, let's, let's deal with this later. Definitely, I'll acknowledge you. It's like a child is coming to you and knocking a few times. Okay, I want your attention. I want your attention. Then you divert the child's attention, giving something. Okay, give me 10 minutes. I'll come back to you. Okay, in the same way, I'm setting my mind. Okay, I will talk to you. I'll deal with you this evening. Okay, I know you're hurt. I know there is some pain you are dealing with. Okay, I'll come back to you. So this helps me to, I'm not ignoring it, I'm not avoiding it. Okay, mm. because if somebody ignores you, how do you feel? You don't feel good, isn't it? You keep bothering actually, get bothered. Exactly, right? so if somebody ignores you, you feel, you don't feel comfortable, you don't feel good. So in the same way, whatever is happening within my inner world, let me acknowledge, even it could be a sad emotion or a good emotion or a good feeling, okay. I can deal with this, okay? Maybe I can make a note of it or I need to think about it. Okay, maybe sometimes you forget about it. It's okay. Probably it will come back to you later. Mm. So then let me just acknowledge and deal with it at that moment, okay? Sometimes that needs priority, okay? I can't sit in a meeting and then I feel so uh, emotional and disturbed and I'm just sitting with everybody. Maybe at that moment, I just need two minutes of attention saying it's okay. Maybe just a positive affirmation is needed at that moment rather than saying, just get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I just need to say, let's, I'll deal with it. Okay, if you're okay, we will, you will be okay. Not that acknowledgement is like, is like a support to your own self. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's when I'm actually able to let go for that moment again and 
to deal with the task now. I like the word park it, park, park it for a while. <laughs> and then I was thinking, okay, there are some moments when the parking gets full. <laughs> <laughs> because probably, we have already parked so many things yeah. <laughs> parking gets full and then maybe you start to buy some tickets and so yeah. i guess it has to be done in a day-to-day -day basis yeah. so the parking is not full and we make sure that it's it has been dealt and of course like sometimes um, in my experience there are certain situation uh, very traumatic that it keeps coming back so it might require like more than few days, maybe few months of meditation and forgiving and that kind of affirmations, no? Yeah, and one of the other art of letting go is writing. Mm. Okay. Just uh, maybe take at least once, if I can just acknowledge, write it. What am I feeling? Why am I feeling? What do you want? It's not the external need, basically. You know, within the self, all you need is that little care, little patience, little attention that you give to yourself. And that love that you give to yourself is the most important thing to let go. Okay. And if I am not able to... See, if you keep writing something again and again, the same thing, Okay. you are just ending up with the same thoughts with, with the same feelings right okay. just that um like it's all like a child conversation a mother and a child conversation a mother acknowledges even the child says something uh, not right okay it's not good or the way the mother acknowledges the child is so important it's not about what the child is speaking so it's within the self, you have that inner child, which keeps bothering, which keeps like always wanting to uh, be in that troubled space. Okay, like a mother, what am I saying? Okay, one is your wise self speaking, the other one is your internal uh, habitual self, like an inner child that is always bothering me. Okay, when I start acknowledging as a wise mother, with that patience and love, the child starts getting the things right. Mm. So it's also important to know what you write and how you are writing and not just repeating the same story. Yes, yes. I'm afraid it has been quite a good session, um, but um, would you like us to lead us some good guided meditation? Sure. Yeah. And perhaps maybe some example of how we can uh, do this letting go, you know, in our meditation of some, some yes. sort. Yeah. Okay, Thank sure. Thank you. Let's sit back. Sitting quietly and comfortably. Just being in this moment. Looking at the image that is in front of me. I visualize myself like a radiant being of light in between the forehead of this body. I am the being, this body through which I express and I experience. Just keeping my mind screen clean and clear. Just visualize a beautiful image of what letting go is. Like a bird with the wings flying up above. I the being 
as an observer, just watching the actions, watching the scenes and the drama of life. I choose to visualize just being in the moment, appreciating the present, appreciating just being and just be. There might be so many scenes that are coming in my way. Probably I don't want them all at this moment. I'll say to them, I'll come back to you later. Or maybe I choose to park it aside for this moment. And choose to just be. Be an observer. And letting go with the flow, like the river water flows in a certain direction. For me to flow is to just accept, accept with love and grace. <clears throat> Whatever is coming in my life is an opportunity to learn, is an op opportunity to explore my inner strength, is an opportunity to learn a new lesson in life. So what is that? that I want to hold on to. When I'm able to let go, I know I am free, even from the comfort zone. Just to allow the mind to be creative, to create a new thought, a new energy. That keeps my mind active. Being positive. explores my inner strength, my inner capacity to see how much power I have within me. Just holding that determined thought, I am possible, I can do it, and I will do it with love. In the next few minutes, let's hold the silent space. And each one of us, let's create a beautiful image of what letting go means to me. 
It can be as simple as a balloon or a bird or whatever comes into your mind. How light it is, how powerful it is. I can see my inner light shining. Holding on to this inner light. I have a clear image of what it is to let go. I find myself peaceful, light. Free and powerful with these thoughts, I choose to come back to the present moment. Om Shanti, I am peace. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Sister Harika, for today mm -hmm. and for everything and all your wise words. It was really wonderful session and I'm definitely taking back a lot of determination and saying goodbye to some laziness. <laughs> what a good reminder it has been. So hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you for everyone. It's nice to be with you all.